Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video in East Coast Manga. So, today I want to give you both some recommendations on manga to give and to give certain people, but I also want to talk about kind of if manga is a good gift for Christmas, but specifically a good gift to someone who hasn't read manga before or doesn't own any manga. So I have a stack over here to the side of me, which some of this I've actually given as gifts before, or it's manga that I know that some of my friends are into who, you know, aren't exactly in this community, but they do enjoy manga casually. None of these choices are picks that I just threw off myself because I really like it and I think you guys should spread the news. This is stuff that, you know, once again, I think is a good gift, is once again stuff that I think is good gift material as well as stuff that I know other people like in my own personal life. So let me first start off by saying I think manga is an amazing gift no matter the age or, you know, anything about the person. I think if, you know, if you feel like they're gonna enjoy a certain story, or you think they're actually gonna open up the book and read it, I think it's a worthwhile gift. And although the person might not be into manga right now, might not be into reading manga, it has to start somewhere. Um, so, you know, maybe you give them this gift and like you are the person who got them into manga, which is really, really cool. Or they don't really end up reading it and you know they're not really into the hobby. Now I know that might be a pretty straightforward, simple answer, but I f sometimes I feel like people need kind of reaffirming that like, yes, they did make the correct decision when they decided to buy this manga that they're gonna gift to their friend or family member, whoever. But moving forward, we're gonna kind of get into some manga, some choices that I would personally recommend if you were giving it to a friend or a family member. Now clearly as I go through this list, there is gonna be some age ranges that I would recommend to kind of gift to, as I wouldn't recommend, you know, something to a younger person. I'm also not gonna go super in depth into the story because I don't wanna make this video so long. I'm gonna more so recommend like who I would give this gift to personally. Um, and this list is totally gender neutral, so this could go to either your guy friends, your girlfriends, whoever. I've personally gifted these some of these two guys and some of these two girls, so it doesn't really matter. I also just want to mention, yes, like this stack I have over here is kind of catered um, towards certain genres or whatever, but once again, this is stuff that I've gifted, this is stuff that I have, you know, single-handedly recommend to gift, this is stuff that I've read, I've enjoyed. Um, if I haven't read something, I'm not going to be able to recommend it. So if you're looking at this video and by the end you're like, oh damn, like there was no shoujo manga or anything like that, well, I have not consumed enough to be able to get, to be able to recommend a gift of a shoujo series or other series. Also just want to throw some honorary mentions before we get into the whole list. I do just want to mention things like some Shonen Jump series, which are super, super easily readable, easy accessible to your average consumer of someone who has never read any manga, you don't really know what to get them, but I can almost guarantee you they're gonna at least like one of these. So certain series like My Hero Academia, and I know it's like, it's super old, everyone knows about it, but if you have a friend who's not into manga yet, that has gotten so many people into manga, so many people. Uh, same, with the, same with The Promised Neverland, both of those two series have gotten so many people into manga, so even though they're basic choices, if someone has never consumed any manga or anime before, I would recommend those. I would also recommend things like Mashal, always recommend Mashal, um, Call of the Night, Kaiju Number 8, I mean, all these choices I've talked about before, but once again, I had to throw them in as honorary mentions. You can't go wrong with any of those for really, in my opinion, any type of problem. Now the first one we're going to start with is one that I actually don't have the edition that I would personally recommend gifting, but it is a version of it. So the first copy that I would recommend gifting would be Berserk. And I know this is a very like stereotypical, stereotypical type of gift for somebody, but I had to have this in the list and it's not going to focus. There we go. I had to have this in the list. It's I would personally recommend gifting one of the deluxe editions. Now you can get those off of Amazon, you can get those off of, uh, you know, right stuff. All of this list, I've tried to compile of manga that you can get pretty easily. Uh, I would recommend this to someone who is kind of into the more mature, kind of darker realm of things. They kind of like dark fantasy. Kind of another part that I could have uh, inputted earlier is, you know, how do you judge what manga to get your friends? And, and this is where I'm trying to kind of categorize it a little bit. But personally, if your friends aren't into manga yet, I would categorize, I would kind of figure out what type of manga I would get them based off of the type of media that they consume. So whether it be video games or TV shows or movies, I mean, all of those things can say a lot about a person. So if someone plays a lot of, you know, fantasy games like, uh, like Dark Souls or Skyrim, 
uh, then you know something like Berserk would be fantastic for them. I think they would love. It. And I have some other stuff which I'll get into a, a little later. But I would really kind of pay attention to what they enjoy, and then based the manga. I mean, there's so much manga out there that you could literally have the perfect thing for them. So the next choice that I'm gonna recommend is Don to Don or Dan to Dan. I I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. But uh, this is for the friend who is maybe they've watched Chainsaw Man. Maybe they've enjoyed Chainsaw Man. It has kind of Chainsaw Man vibes as I believe uh, the mangaka was a assistant for Fujimoto but I would also recommend it because it's you're getting someone into a series before the anime comes out as the anime is inevitably going to be coming out for this so you're kind of getting someone ahead of the curve which is always really cool so I would highly recommend this series now this is you know violence there's some psychological it's, it's a bit dark I would say at least so far it seems similar to Chainsaw Man so if you've read Chainsaw Man which most of us have either read it or watched it um, I would say kind of base your judgment off of that. And I say Chainsaw Man a lot, but it's also kind of like Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, there's a bunch of series that's kind of similar to, uh, but once, I, once again, you're kind of getting someone ahead of the curve, and I, I think it's kind of cool to, to be able to get, you know, your friends ahead of things, which uh, there's another series in this pile, which I actually get it to a friend to kind of get him, him also ahead of the curve, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. The next series which I recommend is Record of Ragnarok. Now, this is for the friend who enjoys violence, the friend who enjoys fighting, uh, just crazy, fast-paced, not too many words. This is not a very wordy manga at all. It is almost all pictures, so we all have that friend who you know is probably not gonna read a book anytime in the next 20 to 30 years, um, but they enjoy fighting, they enjoy, you know, TV shows with a bunch of violence, whatever, they maybe even enjoy, enjoy sports. I mean, I would highly recommend this to the, uh, a <laughs> little bit of a crazier friend. So this next series, it's a bit of a touchy manga cub because he is very dark, there's a lot of psychological stuff, it, it's very heavy mangaka, so this one you gotta be, I would say, I don't know, I felt like I needed to be a little more careful with, but when I gifted it, I mean, the person who got it absolutely loved it, and then she even let someone else borrow it, and they loved it, so the manga I'm talking about is The Flowers of Evil by Shuzo Oshimi. Now, he has a few series out in English that you could possibly gift. I would personally recommend gifting this one to begin um, if someone has not read any Shuzo Oshimi before because if they enjoy this, they're gonna really like Shuzo Oshimi. If they don't enjoy this, I would not recommend pursuing any more Shuzo Oshimi manga. But this is for the friend who, you know, enjoys more, like I said, dark, psychological, really messed up stories. Um, not someone who is looking for a kind of light-hearted type of, you know, good ending, you know, good story, whatever. Um, that's not for them. Once again, most of this manga you can give to really anyone you want. I'm just kind of tailoring it a little bit. Now moving into the manga that is much more lighthearted, and I do recommend to the more casual general audience is Blue Flag. Now I was not the biggest fan of Blue Flag's ending, I will have to admit because I don't want people calling me out on that, but I still think that reading it was extremely enjoyable. It was very worth it. I still recommend this to people as, even if I don't love the ending, I do know people who actually do really like the ending and do think it was, you know, a satisfying ending. Now I have real life friends who really really enjoy this story and I once again think this is a fantastic gift. Once again for kind of your light-hearted, your you know friends who just enjoy a good story. So the next series I kind of hinted at earlier as something I gifted my friend to kind of be ahead of the curve and this was you know back in the summertime or whatever but it's still manga that is still pretty fresh in terms of printed manga in English and this manga is Blue Lock. Now, I know a lot of you guys have heard about this, I know this is, you know, maybe some of you guys would consider this a basic choice or whatever, but I would not recommend to gift things like Slam Dunk or iShield 21, uh, you know, Haikyuu, Haikyuu was recommended like three years ago. Now, why I don't recommend things like Slam Dunk and iShield 21, although those are, you know, basketball and football, which can be you know more popular in the United States as a gift. Those are not easy to obtain. Now Slam Dunk is coming back kind of in stock, but you really can't go to a Barnes and Nobles and just pick up a bunch of those if he wants to if he or she wants to continue it. Same thing with iShield 21. iShield 21 is even worse. I mean you it, it can be difficult to find some of those and I can't even tell if that series is out of print or out of stock. But this right here, this is a battle royale manga sports series that you can just go into a Barnes and Noble and find. You can just pick this up. I think there's only four 
square volumes out at most, but maybe even just three. So especially if you have a friend who's into soccer, I would highly recommend this. But even if you have a friend who's like just into sports in general and doesn't hate soccer, then I would recommend giving this to him or her to uh, check out. Now this next series is a series that doesn't even need an introduction. I would highly recommend this to pretty much everyone, to be honest with you. Maybe there's some people I wouldn't recommend this to, but I wouldn't even know how to categorize that. In the series is Tokyo Avengers. I mean, I don't really even need to say much about this. This is also another very obtainable manga. All of this I tried to make obtainable manga if I haven't mentioned that before. But I mean, this is just one of the most popular manga anime that has come out in the last year or two, especially in the West. It absolutely blew up. I think these are pretty good additions. I think there's some, you know, quality differences with some additions, whatever, but overall, I am obsessed with the series and I see what the hype is about. And that's another piece of this video is I want to give things that, you know, make people want to go get the next volume. Not something that they are going to read and enjoy, but then feel like, eh, I don't need the next volume or I don't need to see how this continues. Then moving on to a classic, which I will put into every single one of these videos that I will ever make in the future, you will always see the series in here. This is by far my top three series of all time. It is also a insanely good recommendation manga, recommendation manga, recommended manga, especially if you have a friend who thinks that manga is kind of for kids or it's childish or it's kind of, this is an adult manga with adult psychological darkness and mystery and some violence. Some of you guys might have already had this in your head, but yes, it is Monster by Naoki Urasawa. This is, once again, something that I've gifted before. I always highly recommend this series. This is just, I, it's cream of the crop. I, I don't know how to explain it any better than that, but I, you know, if you have a friend, once again, this is a darker story. This is a much more mature story, so this is not lighthearted. If you have a lighthearted friend, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you have a friend who, once again, likes the darker stuff, this is it right here. Last but not least, we have one of the most popular manga that has dropped in 2020. It has just made waves and waves, and I have to recommend it because of how good it is and how I will absolutely be gifting it to someone in the near future. This series is Summertime Rendering. This I would recommend to... This is a weird manga because it is dark, it does have a lot of dark stuff in it. It's it's a psychological manga, but I feel like it's a little, it's more open to kind of general readers than, you know, compared to The Flowers of Evil. Uh, so I would recommend this to a more broader audience. Uh, if you have a friend who is not into manga yet, but you know, they you know they enjoy some dark stuff. It doesn't have to be super dark or anything like that. I would highly recommend this. And that's it for my holiday recommendations. I don't want to do too many. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys. I kind of just wanted to condense it once again to stuff that I've gifted, stuff I plan to give or stuff that I would should be all easily accessible. I apologize if something like Monster has some volumes that are out of stock. I, I, I can't keep track of all the stock of these items. Leave down in the comment what manga, if you're planning to gift anyone any manga this year, what you're gifting them because I'm always curious what people are gifting manga. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped uh, in some way. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.